this is the third question in this uh, set of videos on CAN protocol. So CAN protocol defined using OSI model. Yes, um, we have the dedicated uh, OSI model layer that we are uh, following in CAN protocol. All right. So for the for this, the answer is so in simple how the question will be or how the discussion starts is uh, how, how the CAN protocol and the OSI model uh, relates or what are all the <coughs> layers that um, CAN protocol takes place in OSI model. So this will be the question and the answer is yes, CAN bus is joined in the OSI only converts the bottom two layers. See that is only cover sorry bottom two layers that is physical layer and the data link layer. All right. So yes before that uh, in this um, we you know right our course in this course uh, tomorrow the only one day there will be a huge discount on this premium course is providing by the app um, around um, 1100 rupees is discount if you use the code um, 02 OCT 2022 that is tomorrow's date 2nd October 2022 it's for some Gandhi Jayanti or some Gandhi Jayanti so the app provider they are giving this particular uh, offer the code or the coupon code also I'll give in the description and it will works only for tomorrow okay tomorrow means it's from 12 a.m. of the of the second October till 12 a.m. of the third October fine so <clears throat> here we have the description so of course we know uh, it is only the first, the two layers physical layer and the data link layer as relates the OSA model of the CAN protocol. So how this so what exactly these things has been doing exactly what physical and data link layer uh, contains and what regulates these and how it relates to the CAN protocol. So let's see these are all the explanation. So first is the physical layer uh, in the physical layer the data rate that is bit rate or baud rate these data rate can be defined all right as CAN um, as scan follows this OSA layer so there will be some specifications of the data rate that is a bit rate it should be from this to this it should be in this period everything be given so that can obey as per the OSA so that is point number one and number two is bit synchronization bit synchronization also uh, in the CAN protocol they follows the OSA layer uh, rules or okay OSA layer what set of uh, protocol they follow the same has to follow in the um, can then topology topology means uh, the OSI supports only few tos, few topologies example star topology or uh, <clears throat> anything uh, ring topology so you know, some a few topologies been followed by the OSI so only those can be applicable in the uh, in the CAN protocol as well then configuration is for physical see for example physical layer means is just a is a wire all right so this wire how far this the data transmission in this wire should support so that's all about the physical layer so <clears throat> again the configuration there will be some set of uh, so some range which has to follow in this configuration everything will be defined in the see <clears throat> defining the OSL is very simple you can just uh, replicate that you don't want to design the own configuration all right so that is what the can also doing so can protocol they are just <clears throat> taking means not taking the complete thing but it's the, what are the suitability of the auto automotive or automobile so they are following that and PDU, PDU bits so <clears throat> the protocol data units so how the protocol takes so uh, that also has been followed and switching mechanism switching mechanism how it is switching from one uh, one station to another substation so that also has been taking a so for example if this is in the on the one port and <clears throat> this is on the another port the switching between the each port also taking care in this uh, particular switching mechanism then data link layer so coming to, so these are all the things that can follows in the uh, physical layer from OSI all right then data link layer again uh, framing all right so you know K you know the CAN protocol is a <clears throat> frame oriented there is a message oriented uh, protocol message is nothing but a frame so number of frames how the frames has to follow so <clears throat> that is what the framings then frame synchronization in this how the synchronization should happen all right so it's a hard synchronization a soft synchronization how it has to happen so that also follows from the OSA then addressing is one of the important factor that is a memory uh, you know the 
uh, how the addressing memory address has to map then error control so can <clears throat> sorry one second so how the error has to be like um, if error occurs uh, in how many iteration can uh, will um, try to fix the error so how the error handling is either it is easier or easier so how it is handling that can be again um, taken by the OSI layer for format then accessing so <clears throat> accessing as uh, accessing is switching mechanism most or uh, which say well, for this is in the physical layer this is in the accessing it is on the data link so in data link, physical layer as I said it is a physical okay so <clears throat> you can touch that the the ports the the bus everything data link is from <clears throat> one side you have to link that data here I am getting on data how I will link this data in the another feed alright so that was the accessing so accessing has to be in, in the so again certain configuration they have to follow then flow control yes the flow control is again in the frame so while transferring the data how what is the time should taking uh, to transmit each frame if one one frame is done then what will the minimum and maximum time has to follow so everything has been uh, mentioned in the flow control so on a whole if you are relating the can protocol with the OSA layer these are all the prime factors that you have to understand so still if you are confused with this because I just gave uh, what what they'll do still if you want to understand the error control what error control means it's again separate topic so this topic so like this I can't able to explain in in uh, 10 or uh, uh, 15 minutes okay so it will take if I want to explain everything it will take uh, more than a hour so we can split like maybe in the in the upcoming videos we'll have a separate uh, explanation on um, how the physical layer and the uh, data rate is being linked in the uh, no can protocol with the OIZ layer so this like this we can do but as of now we can just make it crisp like um, the OIZ layer has been uh, relates with the can protocol with these factors that's it all right so <clears throat> that's all about this video and if you want to purchase our course you can yes always uh, maybe uh, tomorrow this is a maximum discount that I heard from them so anyhow like what we get is we'll get the different pay but whatever the offer on it they are giving the offer so it's like how you are purchasing something in amazon or flipkart so all right the same fine i'll get back to you in the next video until then bye